Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will take a look at final checks and flows before we get airborne, thereafter discuss takeoff techniques. I am Utkarsh, welcome to flight level 070. The journey of getting into the cockpit and getting the machine ready for flight shall be completed on this video. It's a part of the flows playlist for which I'll leave a link in the description as it outlines the normal procedures to be followed on the A320. I've used the FCOM and the FCTM as a reference. So let's apply takeoff thrust and get going. Here we are in the simulator. Let's carry on from the taxi flows. So we've completed the taxi flows and now we'll carry out the before takeoff checklist. So I'll read out the before takeoff checklist and it'll be challenge and response. Flight controls, check, check, both pilots will confirm. Flight instruments, you'll monitor the flight instruments and confirm checked. Briefing, confirmed. Flap setting, configuration one. V1, VR, V2, flex temperature. So you can check here, 135. Check in the MCDU. 136. And the V2 from the PFD, 136. And flex from the engine page, 50 degrees. ATC is set. ECAM memo. Check the ECAM memo. Takeoff, no blue. Before takeoff checklist to the line complete. The pilot monitoring will request for lineup clearance. Flight level 070 is ready for departure. Flight level 070, enter backtrack lineup runway 27. Enter backtrack lineup runway 27, flight level 070. Okay, once lineup clearance has been obtained, you set the exterior lights. Go up, put all lights to on, and leave the nose light to taxi. If brake fans being used and temperatures are below 150 degrees Celsius, you can switch off the brake fan. Check that the approach path is clear and release the brakes to enter the runway. The pilot monitoring in the meanwhile will set the TCAS mode to TARA. Let's go ahead and line up. In the meanwhile, you can advise the crew. Cabin crew to your seats for takeoff. Crew is advised. Refer your ND, check for where your runway is. So we'll turn left for runway 27. Taxi would have been too long, so I'll line up. There are two thrust setting techniques depending on if the crosswind is greater than uh, or less than 20 knots and if there is no tailwind or there is tailwind. So we'll first discuss uh, thrust setting in case of crosswind less than 20 knots and no tailwind. You'll advance the thrust levers to 50% N1. We will check as per this the N1 should be 50% and EFR should be 1.05. At the same time to counter the nose up effect of setting takeoff thrust, you will set the side stick half forward until reaching 80 knots and from 80 to 100 knots gradually get it back to neutral. At the same time you will set the thrust levers to the takeoff thrust of flex or toga and the captain will keep his hand on the thrust levers until reaching V1. In case of tailwind or crosswind greater than 20 knots, you will set the takeoff thrust by increasing the thrust progressively reaching takeoff thrust until aircraft reaches 40 knots of ground speed. At the same time, you will give full forward stick until 80 knots and gradually get that back to neutral reaching 100 knots. Directional control can be maintained using the rudder. At 130 knots, the connection between the nose wheel steering and rudder pedals is removed, hence in case of greater crosswinds, you will require more rudder input. Once the takeoff thrust is set, you will start the chrono and monitor the PFD ND for uh, the FMA and monitor engine parameters that the N1 or the EPR is achieved. So 
so let's perform a normal takeoff with winds less than uh, 20 knots or no tailwind all checks are complete release the parking brakes advance the thrust levers to 1.05 weeper half side stick forward increase the thrust to take off thrust start the chrono read the FMF Mantoka SRS runway auto thrust blue check that the thrust has been achieved call out thrust set gradually reduce to neutral at 100 knots 100 knots check V1 remove levers and rotate at 3 degrees per second to achieve 15 degrees check the VS call out positive climb upon command of PF select landing gear up engage automation thereafter approaching thrust reduction altitude set the thrust levers to climb D10 thrust climb auto thrust is engaged pilot monitoring will switch on pack 1 Climb mode is engaged at acceleration altitude. The aircraft will accelerate and will retract the flaps as per the speed schedule. As speed increases above air speed and a positive speed trend, we select flaps 0. So S is positive, flaps 0. Disarm the spoilers. Check the nose lights to off and switch on pack 2. Thereafter, we are above transition altitude, so we will set the altimeter to standard. All three altimeters are set to standard and we will cross check. Standard is cross check, passing level 49 now. Turn off the landing lights and thereafter, perform the after takeoff climb checklist. Landing gear. Up, flaps, retracted, packs are on. Checklist to the line complete. Below the line, barrel reference, standard set, standard set, landing lights are retracted. After takeoff, client checklist complete. Stay tuned for many more such videos and thank you for your continuous support. Take care.